first stage of uh, tanks are now pressurized as our status board uh, gives us a rundown on the automatic sequence. 50 seconds and counting, we've now gone on internal power on the internal batteries of the Saturn V as the count continues. 40 seconds and counting, Alan Shepard reports that he's performing his final guidance alignment, the final uh, maneuver the astronauts perform before liftoff. 30 seconds and counting, Stu Russo just said thanks, it's been a good count. 25 seconds and counting, we are still go. 20 seconds, guidance alert, the guidance system now going internal. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, ignition sequence start, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Launch commit, liftoff, we have liftoff with Apollo 14, three minutes past the hour. The tower is clear. Houston is controlling, it's right now. 16 seconds, pitch and roll program started, 14 maneuvering to a proper flight course. Shepard reports roll program completed, pitch profile still in progress, 37 seconds. Pressure coming down, adjusting from sea level to a space environment. We have a remote camera. Status check in mission control coming up all greens on the flight director's console. In Houston, everything looks good here on the ground. Right. Oh, One well, minute, 19 right? seconds That's coming great. up on period of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle. That, that camera you see is further down range. It's down the Florida coast here, and apparently they've got a clear shot. Huh? I think this is the Rivero Beach camera, in fact, yeah. way down there. Yes, it looks great. It's what, uh, it's what, 60 miles down, down the coast? One minute, uh, 35 seconds, uh, 9 nautical miles in altitude, 5 nautical miles downrange. Uh, velocity now reading uh, 33, uh, 140 feet per second. They've been through the uh, first real test, the maximum demanding pressure area. That we came at 1 minute, 25 seconds into the flight. Uh, that's uh, where they get the maximum buffeting is the escape. Pass the through max Q. Mode one Charlie. Mark, one Charlie now. We're one Charlie. EDS auto is off. We've already gotcha. seen the uh, first Two stage shut down now. Two seconds coming up on uh, center engine shutdown. Two minutes, 12 seconds, 20 nautical miles in altitude. Inboard cut off. Yeah. Roger, inboard. Center engine shut down on time. That's two minutes, 25 seconds, 25 nautical miles in altitude, 30 nautical miles downrange. Another 15 seconds, all of those uh, first stage engines cut down. The other four on the outer Mark, ring. Two minutes, 35 seconds uh, coming up uh, on staging. That's a great shot. Beautiful. Yeah. Good on. Roger. And separation. Roger. Ignition on five. Roger. Great, that next stage is Head going. Head staging, uh, the Shepard crew now riding on five good second stage engines. On five engines. Look at that, you can see that big first stage right dropping there, back there. Good thrust on all five. This is the one we hope to fly the, back uh, sometime in the future. The giant first stage falling away now, it's day's work done. That's a frightening. Three minutes, ten seconds coming up on skirt step and tower jettison. Frightening explosion when that thing separates, you think the whole gotcha. thing's gone. You should see it from the inside. Yeah. <laughs> you can see it, really. There you see the tower jettison. The and now they can right all look out. <laughs> That's the tower oh, that had more power, power than Al flew on before. Great sequence. That's the best picture. Three minutes, 35 yes. seconds, uh, 14 now, 33 feet shorter, 9,000 pounds lighter, uh, moving out well beyond the Earth's atmosphere. We show an altitude of uh, 16 nautical miles. That's the tower right at the top of the uh, Saturn that would pull the command module free in case there were 
a catastrophic uh, disaster in the Mark, uh, 3 minutes 55 seconds, 63 nautical miles in altitude, 143 nautical miles downrange, velocity now. Send that 4 minutes, trajectory and guidance look good. 14, roger. That's, uh, that's Russo's voice we're hearing, uh, isn't it? Uh, that is, yeah, yeah, it. Go. Roger, the MC go. Four minutes, uh, 20 seconds, velocity now reading uh, 10,750 feet per second, then accelerating. The voice you're hearing from ground control. In uh, mission control, Apollo 14's trajectory data, driving right down the middle of our plot boards. Uh, right now, flight path data is go. That voice is John McLeish, the voice of Apollo and the mission control in Houston. The capsule communicator you hear talking to the spacecraft is Major Gordon Fullerton, uh, one of the astronauts. And the voice you hear from the Apollo uh, is that of the command module pilot, 37-year-old uh, Stuart Rusa. He's sitting Coming there in the middle seat. Five minutes, uh, 78 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 235 nautical miles downrange. And so it looks like Apollo 14 got away from Florida and Retro this part of Earth in very good shape. 14 is clear of the uh, Atlantic uh, weather. It's pointed out to me here that the reason our pictures are so good and the great good fortune we've got that that camera is, is down the Florida coast and out of this immediate storm area. And isn't that amazing? Just, just 60 miles or so down there, I think, but it's fairly clear there up to that moment. Predicted uh, uh, time uh, for S2 shutdown, uh, 9 minutes, 16 seconds. Uh, very close to normal. We're at 5 minutes, 45 seconds. But, uh, Stand by for S4B to COI. Mark, S4B to COI now. S4B to COI. Roger, and your times are nominal. Level sense arm 8 plus 3, niner. And S2 cutoff at niner plus 1, 6. Yeah, no, here it comes. The S2. Capcom Gordon Fullerton reporting that 14 capable of reaching a minimum orbit uh, with a combination of a good third stage and service module engines. Meanwhile, in mission control, a status check being taken, coming up all greens. So if they can We're now at, make uh, their... Six minutes, 20 seconds, uh, 1491 nautical motors are running. They can make their uh, Earth orbit now, their under any circumstance. Orbit, right. This is significant to us because you know that you can at least get there rather than have to abort possibly and go into a continent area and you don't like to land that way but at least you can have a chance now to overfly the surface of the earth and not worry about impacting land the uh, the next event uh, coming up here is in uh, about a minute when the center engine cut off of the uh, s2 Mm -hmm. Six minutes, 55 seconds, 95 nautical miles in altitude. That's what. That's the one that cut off early on uh, Apollo 13. 13. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, they had enough boost in the Seven remaining four seconds, uh, engines of the uh, S2 to get through. Right. That was another one of the changes they have the mine 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 an accumulator in the mine is to prevent this so-called oscillation or pogo effect, yeah. which caused a premature shutdown. Well, I can't say we have those fellows as rookies anymore. They're committed. Seven minutes, uh, 30 seconds. Uh, 14 uh, flying almost uh, parallel over the ocean now with Shepard, uh, with the Shepard crew in a heads down position. Really moving out now for downrange distance. Uh, we show downrange of 587 nautical miles. Inboard cut off. Roger, inboard. That was Shepard. That was a center engine shutdown right on time. Good well, thrust on the other four. Al's flown farther now than he did before. <laughs> yeah, he's flown farther. He's still got uh, seven more minutes before he equals his 15-minute flight before. He's, uh, he's within seven minutes of doubling his time in space. Well, the flight of Apollo 14 has Eight minutes, gotten off after a 40-minute hold. 98 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 700 uh, nautical miles downrange. I must say, looking up at those clouds, I didn't know we were going to make it today. 81 feet per second. Staging status. Your go for state. CMC is go. I just CMC go. That's the uh, outboard engine cutoff. Uh is supposed to come now at uh, 9 minutes and 17 seconds into the flight. That's about another 35, yeah, 40 seconds. Time now. Mm -hmm. Right, your level 10 time. 
And then we get the first test of that S-4B, which is so vital to the flight out to the moon. Uh, that's the last of the third stages. It's a 20,500-pound thrust engine, and uh, it's got to light for the first time. Mark, nine minutes, these, uh, so 100 nautical miles in altitude, 830 nautical miles downrange. That's vital for coming back, too, remember. That's right. <laughs> then it shuts down, fires again. Yeah, uh, the S-4B, four I'm four talking about that. Yes, yes. That's, that's SPS we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Roger, mode four. That uh, mode four call uh, says a good uh, service. Oh. Roger, cut off. And staging. Roger. And good thrust on one. Good. Roger. Great. So the S-4B ignition uh, 30 seconds. Place. Thrust looks good on the S-4B after staging. Looks good on the S-4B. Thank you. The uh, Shepard crew has now used up two-thirds of their Saturn stages on their way to orbit. We're at 9 minutes uh, 45 seconds, 101 nautical miles in altitude, 989 nautical miles downrange. Velocity now reading at 23,300. 23,313 feet per second. 